good day to everybody you're welcome to my youtube page once again now in this video i'll be treating how you can adjust your industrial sewing machine speed because i've seen different videos on this page whereby they'll just discuss about you adjusting your stitches here or just a bit adjustment on your motor and later when you find out you notice the speed is not changing actually the key to the speed of your motor is this pulley we call it pulley it's how we, it comes in different sizes so if you can see now i'm putting my machine on five this is the gathers so check the speed out you can see it's very fast now to some people that are not even professionals it will be faster than this so this is what we we'll do we're going to change this guy you notice that the one there is bigger than this pulley so when we change it you see the differences let's see so Constraining this, all you have to do is get a plier, you loosen this knot, and you loosen this knot, you have access to it, bring it out. You can see. So, notice there is a mark here, notice the mark here. So that you won't have to mess things up. So the ring first, then the nut. The size for this spanner is 18. So well, I don't like using spanners, like you can see in my videos, I don't use spanners for the So now after you change your your pulley to this size, you can see. The one there before is bigger. This 90 mm compared to about 10 mm. You can see. So this guy will just give you a very fast speed compared to this. So when you change your pulley to this, you notice that when you bring your belt down, it's very loose. So the next thing you do after you've done this is to come back. Is to come back to this side. This is something like a good day with you. You lose it to supplier also. You want to use a spanner for it? That's 18 spanner. 18 or 17 spanner. You're losing this down. Now you can see it's tight back. So then bring this back to it. So in some cases, you notice the best that will be in your email industrial machine will be 41. If it is 41, it should just be a bit lower than this. Be a bit more than this, so for 40 is still the best size. After this, you tight make sure you tighten this knot because by the time your machine is vibrating, the knot might lose itself and it's not be good. Now, I have a small pulley on it compared to the big pulley. I have this now. Let's see how slow the speed will be. Let's see how slow the speed will be. You'll be surprised that even. Without calling anybody, you can operate your machine very slow. So, you can see it to be very slow. That's just all for you adjusting the speed of your industrial machine. And in case you get tired to the small pulley, you can later change it to this. By then, I hope you'll be a professional that can use any speed on your machine. Thank you very much.